Howdy y'all, Amber here and welcome back to Ginger Cowgirl's Nook. Today we will be coloring out of Coffee Bean Besties by Sherry Baldy and we will be using our Caligart markers today. As you can see I already used her, um, did her skin. I used my Teague 134 from my skin tone um, marker set. Um, I never really do my skins on camera because I have a really hard time doing them, so I just prefer not to do them then. But let's get started with this cute little picture. Now, I was super, super excited to get this little book because I actually love coffee. Love, 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 love coffee. And so I thought it was a really, really super cute little book to get for myself. I love how she's got little coffee beans up here in her hair. Now this is a new camera angle, so hopefully it works out a little better and don't turn stuff sideways on me. I hope, I hope, I hope I re- I redid my all of my um, desk here so hopefully this will work out better and hopefully it won't be upside down or sideways or any other fr funny way when it gets uploaded to YouTube Anyways, we do have new lights coming. I'm hoping it would be better lighting and hopefully it will give me more room on my desk because right now my coloring book has to be kind of tucked under my um, lamp over there in order for my coloring book to fit on this desk with where I have positioned my uh, what's it called? Tripod, tri tripod for my um, cat uh, phone to record the video. So yes. So how's everybody? Good. I hope all doing well. I hope everybody's had a good day and a good week. Today it is Thursday. The, uh, what is today? The ninth, I think it is. And you will not be seeing this video until Wednesday. So, hopefully. Y'all enjoy watching. So, I decided that I'm kind of thinking about putting those you know those color changing lights here on the top part of my desk under like my little shelving units I think it would be actually really really super cute um, to do that I just don't know how it would affect the um, quality of the videos because um, I don't want it to be any weird color or anything but I'm also thinking that when I do do a video I could use the white ones and hopefully brighten this up a little bit because I know my pictures are kind of like dark right now when I'm recording them and I believe it's because I have like this little shelving unit like above this part of the desk. So I'm thinking if I get like LED lights or rope lights or something to put on the top along with a new um, lamp, I'm hoping it will make these a little bit brighter for y'all. That is the hope. So 
So what have I been doing in the last week? Well, in my last video I told you about my brand new car and if you hadn't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. It will be up in the iCart section um, of this video, but I'm going to tell you a tiny, tiny bit about my new car. Just for those of you that don't like to like go back through the um, uh, clicky thingy, like go through the clicky thingy. So my new car is a 2019 Atlas. It is through third row seats. It has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. It has a whole bunch of safety features in it. Like it'll beep at me if I'm going to like merge into a lane and there's a car in my blind spot. If I'm going off of the lines, like out of the white lines, like and yellow lines on the road while I'm driving. It'll like um, beep at me, a different beep. And I'm not sure how it does it, but it like moves my steering wheel for me, like away from the like edge it also has a backup camera in it and originally I thought that I wasn't going to use it that often because I've never really liked a backup camera but I do find myself using it not when I'm like backing up per se but like if I'm I'll look in my rear view camera it, camera for like little kids or anything like that before I start to move my vehicle and I really like the um, if I'm backing up in a tight kind of area I do like using the backup camera because it has those lines when you're getting too close to like the vehicle behind you so I do like that aspect of it um, I love the heated seats and a hated steering wheel. That is kind of really cool. Um, I'm still trying to get used to the little um, like information panel thingy that's on it, but it's all right. So yeah, overall, really, 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 really happy with the purchase. Still in shock a little bit that I actually got the car. Um, yeah, still on shock that I got the car, but I am very happy that I have it now. I'm happy that I'm able to carry not only me and my kids, but when I go with my best friend and her kids somewhere, I can fit us all in the same car. I don't have to, you know, take my best friend and the youngest kids take them to wherever we're going leave them there and then go pick up the oldest kids I would have to do the exact same thing like dropping us off when we we're done with the activity because my best friend she doesn't have a driver's license so really 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 happy about that that I could just haul us all all at one and it's just great I love how much storage room we have in the back um, even if we don't put up this or if we don't put down the seats the very very back row seats there's still a lot of room for my dogs or luggage and when we go on vacations not that we have went on a vacation yet but when we do this in the next coming weeks I am so not worried about all of my luggage fitting plus um, my dog's feeding fitting because I could just lay down the back seat and call it good. Also, I love the fact that um, each of the back seats fold down independently. So, for example, if we're driving along, you know, and the kids are all fighting in the middle seat, then I could take them, separate them, and put one on each side of like in the middle seat at each door and then put one in the back so they're like separated. 
So I really, really like that feature. I haven't had to use it yet, but I'm sure. Oh, I am positive in time I will. And then even if we have the dogs in the back with us, we could just put down or put up one side of the back and then the dogs will have, you know, almost as much space aside from the little sliver of a seat for that. So that will be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, other than that, doing pretty good. I uh, go to my security job on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I go to the zoo on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And actually, on last Thursday, I started doing what um, I told y'all that I was about to start doing with Unique, which is the deer at my work. When I'm at the zoo, I started to work with him about getting his feet picked up. Um, it's going pretty well. I am going slow, um, even though he's really adapted to people because um, he was raised by people from a little tiny, tiny um, fawn. They like almost kept Unique as a dog before he got too big. Um, he still gets a little nervous when I am... I haven't got to where I could pick up his feet yet, but I can pet him um, on his legs, I can pet him on his thighs, he is a little unsure about um, me kind of like leaning on him um, because I want to, him to get used to me leaning on him because um, when I do pick up his feet it will be us leaning into each other to keep him from falling down which I don't want him to fall down so I am working on that but other than that doing really really well I'm not I am working with him but it's not like we do it every day we do it every Tuesday and Thursday and like I said I had just fairly fairly started so you know I'll get there. Ultimately the goal is though, once we get him used to being his feet picked up, then um, him getting his feet, getting used to getting his feet picked up and handled is a key point into keeping him healthy because um, since they are a hooven animal, which means they have hooves, those hooves need to be taken care of. They need to be clipped. They need to be you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but if we can't get him to do his, get his feet to, to get picked up, because they would have to pick up their feet, he, they pick up his feet and do one or two things. Put it on this little stand. And then, then they're able to like trim off his hoof and file it down and whatever we need to do. Or they put it on their leg or hold it between their legs to do that so that is gonna be a thing that Unique is gonna have to get used to but after we get all of that and we ensure that his health that um, we could take care of his hoofs for his health then I the ultimate goal is to get him to be able to be walked on a halter and be able to interact with the zoo guests because like I said he is very very friendly I've said this in my previous videos but I'll say it again he's like a little puppy like you go into his um, enclosure and he wants you to pet him he want he walks up to you he wants you to pet him he wants you to like give him loves and he wants all of these things and so He's really, really good with people, you know, so that is the ultimate goal there, and I know it'll be a lot of work, but I think it'll be well worth it in the end, and I think it would create a very unique experience. <laughs>
or our zoo because even in most zoos if you get deer you just see him from afar you don't really get to interact with him but like I said he's a mule deer and he was surrendered over to the zoo um, after the owner realized that he is getting way too big to keep in the house like deers are supposed to stay small who would have thunk um, but yeah so he's a unique case and that is the hope 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 and then at some point this month hopefully I will find out if I get to do the um, other internship that I want to do that is a huge internship um, at the big 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 zoo uh, a couple hours from where I live right now I am working at a, our small little zoo in my town and um, I mean, it's a good little zoo for its size like we got an elk we got a reindeer we got a deer we got a whole bunch of birds we got you know some coyotes some foxes we got some lemurs we got some spider monkeys, you know, like an iguana. We got some turtles. We got a pelican. We got some emus. You know, so just really fun, unique animals, but that are rather small. Like you won't find any bears or lions or tigers or anything like that at my particular zoo. But it's all good. Um, it really, really is. At first, I thought I would get, um, I wouldn't get a very good experience because of how small the zoo is, but actually, I am actually getting a really, really, really good experience. So, I'm very, very, very happy about that. So, making some good friends there at the zoo. I have, I met another girl that um, works at the zoo. Her name is Izzy. And we hit it off actually pretty well. We get along really, really, really well. Really well. So, which I'm kind of shocked about because honestly y'all I don't get along with very many females um, so that's really really nice to have one and then maybe we could start hanging out or something like that who knows or maybe it'll just always stay as like a co-worker thing um, I think it would be cool to hang out with her outside of work. While I was working with her, she was telling me all these things, how she wanted to go to the aquarium, and she wants to go hiking, and wants to learn how to rock climb, and wants to learn how to paddle board, and snowboard, how she's always wanted to snowboard. And I'm like, really? Because I do all of those things. And I could teach you to do all of those things. And she's like, it would be so cool to hang out. I'm like, um, yeah, it would be. But at the same time, it's not like I'm going to be like pushing for it or anything like that. So, you know, if I find, if I do something that I think that she would really enjoy doing, I might send her a text and be like, hey, I'm going to go do this. Do you want to come? You know, so, but haven't got that far yet. Like I said, I just barely met her for the first time when I was at the zoo, so. And I worked with her, but up until Tuesday last week, I hadn't known her, so. Hopefully, 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 maybe we'll hang out outside of work. If not, I have a really awesome friend in work that is totally cool. So, there's that. Now, I'm not sure what color I want her dress or anything like that, but I do know 
that I want to give her really light blue eyes. So let's get, let's get those babies in. I'm trying to decide if I want to go really bright within her clothing or keep it kind of monotone so that everything else pops out. I gotta color that hair too. I'm not sure what color to color that hair. Um, do I want to color it a natural color or do I want to have some fun and color it a warmer color? Not sure. Um, originally I thought I would color her hair like a yellow, but I don't think any of the yellows will really look good to be honest. There's so much yellow happening right there. So maybe a really light reddish brown maybe. And we'll go with this one. I think we'll go with this color for her hair. Yeah. Let's go with this color for her hair. And hopefully it don't blend in too much with the um, um, coffee beans. I don't think it will, but you never know. So, we are just gonna color all of this. In here. Oh, I think that looks actually really good. Yeah, it looks alright. Alright, let's get it in over here. So cute. I love this little braid headband like thing that she's got going on. That's really, really cute. Really, really cute. I think it's really cute. Yes. And I think for these like curlies, I think I'm just going to. Maybe do that. We'll see. Maybe I'll just outline them. Maybe I'll actually like color the whole space around them because I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that that's still her hair. So I'm gonna color her hair. Let's see how I just, oh geez, I, I was getting in a hurry and I started to mess up. Ah, slow down, Amber, slow down. Slow down, darling, slow down. Anyway, so I'm super, super excited because next week, well not next week, but on the week of April 4th through the 8th, we get to go see my mama. I'm actually really super excited to do that. And I also just barely realized um, today um, that we will be at my mama's for Easter. So we'll have to be take the stuff for the Easter bunny with us. And that kind of stuff. So that's the... Um, next thing I got to figure out, I do know that I wanted to get my children, well, my two oldest children, um, water waterproof watches for Easter because, um, we got them just like really, really cheap watches to, 
um, teach them a little bit of responsibility, like making sure they're up on time. Um, for a little while there, my son was already late, always late for class because he would just sit and talk to the kids in the hall. And he wouldn't hear the bell, he says. So we're like, you know what, we'll get him a watch. That way we could tell him that he needs to look at his watch. And by this time, he needs to be in class. So we got him some super, super cheap watches. Now they weren't waterproof or anything like that. They were just literally little kid watches. I think I paid maybe five bucks for each of them. But it was to teach them. You know, it was to teach them a lesson, and they actually kept really good care of their watches. So, I decided that we were going to get them waterproof watches for Easter because of how active we are. Um, you know, like I said, we do a lot of activities. Activities. We go hiking, who knows when we'll fall into water, we paddleboard, you know, all this fun stuff. So I'm like, you know what, we're just going to get a model waterproof watches. So we let them pick them out today and they will get them for Easter. And then um, because our youngest son doesn't need a watch, we went and got him a little teeny tiny set of, um, they're like action figures, the Avengers, and they're like this big, but they're like really kind of like rugged ones, because let's face it, he's only four years old. I'm going to take a sip of my Mountain Dew. <sighs> that tastes good. Okay. Anyways. So, yeah, we did that. And he got to pick that, so he was super, super, super excited about that. So I've decided that I kind of want to go in with um, um, green grades for her dress. I'm not sure why, but I just decided that that's what I was going to do with her. I might regret the decision, but I kind of want everything around her to be more of the focal point rather than her clothes. So, yeah, I might regret the decision later, but for right now, we're going to roll with it. And if I do regret the decision, I have a whole other one to color that I would color differently. So, there's that. I remember when I was younger, I used to get so upset in my coloring books when I had the exact same picture, like twice in a coloring book. I used to get so mad, so angry. And now that I'm older, I actually quite like the fact that, um, there are two pictures of the exact, or two copies of the exact same picture. So, that if I mess up, I have another chance to redeem myself. And if I really, really like the picture and how I colored it, I have a second chance to color another one. So, really, really, really actually love that. Jeez, guys, my coloring is not very good tonight. Holy cow. Holy cow. I kind of feel like I'm going out of the lines left and right, man. Jeez. Oh, well. It is what it is. You guys might not even be able to see it on your end, but I could definitely see it on mine, so it's kind of uh, irritating me just a bit, but that's alright. It's all good, it's all good in the neighborhood. 
Okay, so I like that I did the gray, and now I'm going to take, maybe I'll take this one. No. Um, so that was green, gray three, and now I'm going to take green, gray one, and I'm just going to color the rest of her little outfit here. Because for some reason I decided I was going to make her outfit gray. Alright. See, this is what I mean, you guys. Holy cow, like, Amber. Seriously. Come on, girl. Get your crap together. Start coloring your picture the way you know how to color your picture. How are you guys feeling about this gray little dress that I have her in? I don't like hate it, but at the same time I don't like love it. sure how I feel about that but it's done so yeah it's done and so now what I want to do is I want to make a drink in her little cup but I want her cup to be see-through so I'm gonna go into my whatever drink do I want her to have maybe like a pinky drink to be I'm trying to think of like what I would find at like Starbucks or something like that that goes along with the coffee thing but not like coffee so I know they got the pinkity drinky pink pink drink so we will make this the pinky drink I guess from Starbucks So I just went and I actually pulled out one of my um, Ahuhu pastel markers and this one is Hollyhock, Hollyhock that I am going to color this with because the pinkity drinkity dink, pinkity drink is has a pink like whipped cream on it and then it has purple sprinkles on the whipped cream and then it's like a really 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 light pink color so um, I guess we'll kind of go with this because I want the cup to appear to be clear. So, go like this, color these. Then I'm going to take a really, really light blue, the ice cubes, like that. And then 
just going to take a purple. And go like this because in the drink there's like purple um, bead thingies like candy beads I guess is what they are so yeah all right guys there is the end of this picture I really really like how this one turned out I'm not sure about the dress but it is what it is so last thing we gotta do is go ahead and give it a signature and we used our Cali Art markers and our Uhuhu pastels. And this one was done 03 2021. All right, you guys, so there's that video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, we're missing something. Hold on. Let's take this color and do, 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 do. put some little seeds in here. There we go, and I'm just gonna just do some seats of these two. Okay, that looks good. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that little notification bell so that you will get a notification each time I upload a new video. And always remember, be wild, be crazy, be bold, be sexy, be you, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Until next time, bye guys!